What's going on guys and welcome back to the Honeystead. My mom and I are up here in the apiary and I'm getting buzzed right now by this one little girl and this is why I wear a suit on a regular basis up here because sometimes they like to maul my face. It's a love-hate relationship that we have. But if you guys remember a few weeks ago, my mom and I got our first swarm call of the season. I was like, mom, let's go. It's the first swarm of 2022. Let's, let's get these. Okay, wait, well, we haven't got them yet. We okay. haven't got them yet. Well, it's just the whole adrenaline pump just I know. going. So it is, it's the full on adrenaline that gets you going and this is what just. This is catching feelings. This is catching feelings. <laughs> This is the best swarm we could possibly get. And we were successfully able to catch that swarm of bees that was sitting nestled underneath of that bird bath. Well, we took those bees, put them in a nuke box, brought them back to our apiary, and I just kind of let them be for a little while. Get it? <laughs> we're so corny. And since this is the season of learning for beekeeping, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a nuke of bees because these girls are ready for an upgrade. So come on, let's go check them out. Real quick, a nuke is completely different than a package of bees. A package is essentially a box of bees and there's gonna be a queen trapped in a separate cage that you're gonna actually let her go a couple of days after you've installed that package of bees. But a nuke of bees is an already established colony. It's typically around five frames of bees. It's essentially a complete colony just reduced down to five frames. But with a nuke, you're gonna have a queen that's already established and already laying. You're gonna have worker bees that are already familiar with that queen. It's gonna have drawn out comb, it's gonna have capped honey, it's gonna have pollen, it's gonna have capped brood. It is essentially an entire colony just reduced down to a few frames. I took one of our Langstroth Deep boxes and I placed it directly beside the nuke box and when I go to install them, I'm gonna shift it over so that they already know that that's kind of where their colony is and then I don't have to worry about them getting lost on their way home. This is the nuke box that I'm talking about and this is the upgrade that we are gonna put them in. I'm using a 10 frame deep box. So if you look, I already split. I've got three on one side and I've got two on this side and my five from this five frame box is gonna go directly in the middle. This is the only thing that's bad about the cardboard boxes is sometimes they warp. But I am just checking to make sure I don't have the queen here in that lid and I will set her, I will set that box down right beside. So they have definitely outgrown their space and uh, what I'm gonna do just to make sure that I don't end up hurting the queen or any of the frames. I'm gonna just take out two. So it gives me plenty of space to be able to put them in. Wow, it's amazing to see how much only a few weeks has done. Now, right there is a queen cup and I can't tell if something's in it. Oh, just kidding. It's just some wonky comb. But right beside it, right beside it does look like a queen cup. All right, regardless, I see day old egg. I see larva. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's shiny white stuff. That's a, that is what we're looking for. 
But really, if I can see day old egg, I'm good. Now, I, I was a little worried that we might have a calls this one to swarm, but it looks like the queen cup's on this side. Oh, nope, there's some day old egg inside. Okay, so the orientation of these cells makes me feel like they are getting ready to supersede the queen. I'm not too concerned something might be going on and they, they might have to requeen. So because of this, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it into the center of this colony. If, they, if I saw queen cells underneath on the bottom, uh, I would be more inclined to plan on splitting um, because that would indicate that they would be trying to swarm. Holy heck. But look at this brood pattern. Wow. That is some gorgeous, that is a gorgeous frame of brood. My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, there are some queen cells and it looks like a little bit of day old egg, but to me, it doesn't look like swarming. Now, when I take the frames out of the nuke box, the biggest thing that you wanna do is make sure your orientation is the exact same way. Um, it's like if I come into your house and I'm gonna move all your furniture around, you might not be happy with me. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing for them and keep them in the same exact direction. And there she is. Oh, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy that's all I need to see. Man, she is a gangbuster. It's all capped brood. Okay. Yeah, they definitely needed an upgrade for sure. Another thing that I do is I tend to keep my hive tool in my right hand. So because of that, I know that my hive tool is in my right hand. This is the entrance, this is towards the front, and this is towards the back, and I won't mix it up when I am shifting them around. But this colony, yeah. These are some good looking girls. Now. Now I have all five frames placed into the center. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that I have given them enough space, which is called B space. And I'm pushing all the frames kind of together. And then I'm gonna add in the extra two frames. Now you're left with a box that might still have some bees in it. I'm gonna shift this whole body over so that they know where their entrance is. What I like to do instead of closing them up right away is I like to kind of give them a shake, give all these, get all these bees out and then after you've shaken your bees out, you can take the extra box and you can set it towards the entrance. Whatever bees that are left in it will climb up and go into the colony.
but because this colony is a little bit smaller than the other colonies that I have, um, I do put the entrance reducer in and I will go ahead and keep it on the smaller entrance for right now. Probably for like the next week or two and then I'll go ahead and bump it and add the bigger one. So those girls have been upgraded into a larger colony. And so what we're gonna do next in a, about a, probably a week or maybe two, we're gonna go back in, we're gonna inspect that colony and I'm gonna show you guys when it's time to add another box on. This hive is called the bird bath hive and when I go to do another video on it, specifically with this one, I will make sure to put that in the title, bird bath hive update. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.